falling asleep with your phone next to you can actually be hurting your body in more ways than you think. On the surface, sure, this may not seem like such a big deal, but science shows us that it can damage you both mentally and physically. We all know our phones are distracting, but today, Brainiacs, we are going to learn how they can be detrimental to your health and how having your phone near you when you're trying to catch some Z's can cause you to catch some pretty serious health issues. Yes, yes, we know phones can be addicting. This isn't a surprise to anyone. Whether it's the latest minigame or even just getting a like on your social media, dopamine gets released in the brain, which is the chemical that causes us to feel happy. We humans love to feel this feeling, and frankly, because our phones are an easy means to get it, we can't seem to put them down. Taken to the extreme, this can manifest as nomophobia, or a fear of being without our phones. But it's not so much that our phone isn't there, it's more that, without a means of escape, people are faced with very real feelings they were able to push aside, feelings like loneliness, depression, and anxiety, and not to mention having a real face-to-face -face conversation with someone. But what about at nighttime? Can having your phone near you when you go to sleep be hurting you? As crazy as it sounds, studies show that it can indeed cause the human body all kinds of stress over time and can manifest as very real medical conditions. For instance, have you been finding it harder and harder to fall asleep at night? Have you also been browsing your phone right before going to bed? Well, there, my friend, may be the problem. Cell phones, and other electronics for that matter, release what is known as blue light, or light that emits a blue wavelength. And while this is beneficial for helping us see our phones during the day, it's rather destructive to our brains at night. Blue light will keep your brain in a state where it thinks it's daytime. After all, 10,000 years ago, we didn't evolve with lights and phones around. When it got dark, it got dark, and it was time for sleep. Looking at that bright screen will stop your brain from producing melatonin, the sleepy time chemical, and you will have not only more trouble falling asleep, but you won't have as good a night's sleep either. Without normal levels of melatonin, it's harder for your body to get into the REM cycle, which is when we not only sleep the best, but start to heal from the day before. Blue light ain't the only thing hurting you though. The simple act of texting in bed has been proven to, over time, hurt our necks. By looking at the screen in an awkward position, you start to strain the muscles in your neck, causing pain, and in some cases, doctors have to turn to surgery to fix the problems. Looks like the new saying for our generation should be, phones only during the day, keep the doctors away. But wait, there's more! Phones are also a huge harborer of germs and bacteria. Very rarely do people take time to clean their phones, and throughout the day, everything you touch is now on your phone. Touching your phone and then rubbing your eyes or eating food can actually make you sick. One study even showed that out of a random eight phones tested for fecal contamination, all eight turned up positive. Yeah, gross. The last way your phone can be hurting your body at night is through the electromagnetic radiation it is producing at all times. Now, before you freak out and think your phone is causing cancer, the findings are still inconclusive on this one. Some claim that phones are causing cancer, some say not at all. But here's the thing, we've only had cell phones for about two decades now. In the scheme of things, that's really not that long. Who knows if in 200 years we'll all have three eyes and five arms because humans of today couldn't take a night away from their phone. We'll leave this one to you, Brainiacs. But we say it couldn't hurt to put that phone on the other side of the room, just to be safe. Well. Now we feel we've been nothing but negative. Let's shine some light, but not blue light, on what we can do to stop some of these problems. The simplest answer is to put some limits on your time with your phone. Studies have shown that stopping phone usage 30 minutes before bed will allow the brain to produce melatonin again. And a simple change like turning off notifications from social media will stop you from constantly checking your phone. Be responsible. Phones are an amazing tool, but like everything in life, moderation is key. Instead of playing Candy Crush 7 the beginning before bed, be super retro and try some reading. So what can we take away from all this? Well, we'd say it may be time to rethink having your phone next to you at bedtime. It's tempting, we know, but better to make the change now before it ends up hurting you in the long run. We believe in you, Brainiacs. You'll be sleeping like a baby again in no time.